If you run a product with the name GPT in it, OpenAI is coming for you. OpenAI is reaching out to people through a company called Brandshield to ask them to remove the name GPT associated with the product that they run. We have seen a couple of examples on Twitter. This is Banu tweeting that Banu has a product called SiteGPT.ai and the brand guideline outreach team has reached out to Banu saying that we are reaching on behalf of OpenAI and our job is to work with the developers to ensure they are marketing their product in accordance with OpenAI's brand guidelines. We'll shortly see what is this brand guidelines in this video after we conclude this email. That doesn't create any confusion for the customer. Uhu. Today we are writing regarding your use of the mark. Mark. It, it doesn't say trademark. That's that's another interesting aspect. It doesn't say trademark. It just says mark GPT in connection with site GPT product. And then it has given a quick search here. And then it says stating GPT is inaccurate and may imply a partnership or endorsement where there is none. As if, I mean, as if GPT, yeah, I don't want to say anything. If your project uses GPT-3, GPT-4 or ChatGPT, you may choose to say in the product description, not in the product or site name. That is, it is powered by GPT-3, powered by GPT-4 or powered by ChatGPT or powered by DALI as applicable. We do not permit model names as if they own the model name. That's another funniest aspect of all these things in products slash site titles, because there is a concern that it can confuse end users. And it also triggers our enforcement mechanisms. The highlight of this is it also triggers our enforcement mechanisms. I don't know what does it mean? It's important to identify the GPT-3, GPT-4 or chat GPT model specifically as opposed to just referencing GPT. Please reply or you can correctly directly contact us. And this is not like the only instance. Uh, there was another product called Recapio GPT and uh, they went after them as well. And this seems to be like the case with a lot of other creators or product developers as well. So to be on the safer side, I mean, I, I don't want to discuss here whether this is the right or wrong thing. I'm not, I'm not even interested in that conversation, but if you're building a product or if you're building a service, do not attach the name GPT to it. That's something that they have explicitly mentioned in their brand guidelines that they re recently released. We'll see the brand guidelines in detail, but especially in the name with respect to GPT, they don't want you to do that. They don't want you to call it meow lytics. They want you to call it meow lytics powered by GPT-4, powered by, built on, built with, developed on, developed with. Do not say that Meow Analytics AI by OpenAI by with GPT-4. You, you, you're not even supposed to say with GPT-4 in the name. Chat GPT powered. So you, you're not supposed to say any of these things. So now what kind of things that they have released in terms of the brand guidelines? If you have been using API or you're using OpenAI product, you can say powered by GPT-4, powered by Chat GPT API. You can say powered by DALI. And you have got certain do's and don'ts. These, these are the do's and don'ts that we just discussed. If you're using the plugins, then you can say bark bytes plugin for chat GPT and chat GPT plugin. Like if you're going to use the plugin, you cannot say plugin for open AI plugin compatible with chat GPT plugin works with chat GPT plugin integrated with chat GPT. So please do not lead with open AI or the open AI model name. So you're not supposed to start with OpenAI or OpenAI model name, which in this case, ChatGPT, GPT, GPT-3, any of these things. In fact, yeah, models, we encourage using the proper model names or date-based versions of the models when referring to OpenAI model. So how do you mention it? Do refer to the appropriate model names like GPT-3, GPT-4, ChatGPT, DALI. It's quite, uh, quite uh, an interesting observation. They didn't mention GPT-2 or GPT-1 here um, because those were open source models. Actually, they were like released open source. I'm not sure is that the reason why they have not mentioned this or because they have actually filed for trademark for these names. They have like literally filed for US trademark uh, for these names. So I, I'm not sure what is the reason why they didn't mention GPT-1, GPT-2. But you can, as you can see, they are, they want you to mention these names appropriately. Don't like randomly use it, incorrectly use it. Don't have a typo. Don't change it. Don't give space. Don't call it chat GPT for none of my videos. I actually call it chat GPT for. So I don't know if anybody is going to reach out to me. 
and uh, do refer the date ver version model like this don't use engine classes honestly that's quite surprising um i've told a lot of people that you know chat gpt's engine class as like gpt 3.5 takes dominancy model so they don't want you to use that as well um that's yeah do not use open ai technologies when referring to general open ai models do not use sorry do use open ai technologies when referring to generally open ai models do not use open ai in place of a specific model name non partnership you don't you can say is building with you don't have to you shouldn't say do not say collaborated with work with partnered with until you are like some like very big shot like instacart khan academy duolingo where you you like actually worked with them and then you get a chance to say that and also content attribution this is quite new if you have created something with chat gpt you have to say written with chat gpt you're not supposed to say written by chat gpt you are supposed to say caption written with chat gpt caption written by chat gpt no created by dali no created with dali image created with dali image created by dali then they've given you the assets what kind of logo you should use what kind of logo you should not use don't use this logo which is a previous version don't use your own created mock up don't use a different product name with the logo do not alter the logo in any way and um, do not use different colors do not use fill patterns so overall this is open ai's brand guidelines and if you do not follow these brand guidelines it's very well possible that this company called brand shield which is claiming to be reaching out on behalf of open ai might reach out to you asking you to change the name of the product and uh, like we have seen before it seems like open ai or this company might also take legal requirement like right now it's being disputed but that could be also possibly a situation so it's it's just to play safe do not name your product because you're trying to build a product you're not trying to fight legally with this all these big corporate so just do not name your product or any service that you build with gpt and that should do good for you and your product and uh, it seems at least if you're going to call or if you're going to add prefix or suffix either open ai or gpt gpt4 gpt3 chat gpt in your product name i'm not sure if they're going to go after open source libraries um if you know used to be called gpt index now it's called llama index the creator jerry openly said that this is why we didn't want to have gpt in our name so that's why they renamed it to llama index hopefully those llamas don't come and fight with them and i don't think meta will also do it but the point here is that if you don't want a beef with open ai do not add gpt to your product name and i know for sure like there are so many products that have added name gpt to the product name so good luck to all of you if you have any indie hacker friend or anybody who builds saas application please forward this video with them so that they don't name their product gpt